Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, I decided to bring this uh, series back. If you're familiar with my channel, I did do these readings the end of last year, I think into uh, maybe January. And then I discontinued them for a while. But if you did go to my community section of my channel, I did have some polls up there. <clears throat> and this was part of some of the series that was most voted for so I'm bringing it back so give me some feedback below how you like this and we'll see how it goes from here on out I'll probably be doing it for a few months and um, take it from there so welcome Scorpio hope everybody's doing well and staying safe during this time so let's see what the messages are most needed for you from spirit for this time and this is for Scorpio Sun Moon rising or Jupiter male or female please only take what resonates for you so this could be guidance um, just messages, confirmation, um, advice for you. So we'll see what we get here. So I'm going to pull three oracles from each oracle deck here. And then I'll probably pull about one or two tarot on each one just for a little more uh, clarification. And then at the end, I have these uh, prayer cards I actually purchased at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and they had two sets, so I mixed them together. And I said, well, it would be kind of fun to pull, um, you could call it a prayer, affirmation, whatever it is for you. They are religious in connotation, so if you don't like that, then you can always uh, click off at that point. But uh, I'll pull one of those for you at the end. All right, so let's see what we have for Scorpio. Everything you need to know Scorpio is down below in the description box. Decks I'm using and where to purchase them with links, uh, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, that info is below. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you would like to exchange energy or send a donation or something like that, Super Chat is open and available only during the premiere. Is also another form uh, or another way to donate or exchange energy. And your playlists are below also, General and Love. If you'd like to go back, I consider all my readings timeless. All right, Scorpio. So let's get three of these for you at this time. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit, at this time? Let's get three for Scorpio. One more for Scorpio. All right, let's see what we have. We have, <clears throat> you are stronger than you know. So if you're going through something right now, you are stronger than you know. So you do have it within you to do what you need to do. And then we have healthcare change. This has been coming out a lot in these readings, probably the current circumstances of the world. People quarantined, isolated at home. You know, maybe they're not really taking good care of themselves or, you know, lacking exercise or maybe not eating healthy. I think, you know, during this time of isolation or uh, quarantine, it's really important to make sure you get in some form of exercise, you're staying active, you're eating healthy. All right, so, and then we have here grief work. So if some of you need to grieve over something or heal from something that you haven't been um, healing from or dealing with, that you can, you can do this. You can go through the process of grieving, healing, whatever you need to do. Maybe you feel like you're not strong enough to do that. So you kind of push it down aside, you know, neglect it or whatever here. But, and this could be part of the healthcare change that you probably would be so much more healthier physically, mentally, um, emotionally, if there's something you need to really, really um, deal with and just grieve over it and heal from it would make you so much stronger and healthier. So that could only uh, be a message for some. And also don't be afraid to grieve when needed, you know, even if it's not over something you know, you don't have to have a loss of something to grieve. You could be just, you know, grieve over feeling, you know, sad because you're isolated or um, you feel sad for some reason or whatever. Don't be afraid to feel your emotions and um, let your feelings and emotions out when needed. And it doesn't have to be uh, always just over grief, you know, if you're angry, sad, whatever here. Just, you know, feel it and let it come out all right so let's get some of these for you Scorpio spirit please what are the messages most needed for Scorpio at this time 
at this time. Scorpio, at this time, Spirit, please, what do they need to know? Okay, definitely feeling that. One, two more. Okay, those. Let's see what we have. We have wise soul. Your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. So some of you may have a lot of, you know, ancestral knowledge, even maybe carrying over some past life knowledge. Um, or just, um, you know, through generations line of your lineage, you know, maybe gifts passed down generation to generation also. So you carry that, some of you may carry that within you and have those gifts and it's telling you, you know, it's your time to share it with others. <clears throat> Chakra clearing. This has been coming out a lot too in the readings. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. So some of you may need to... Um, Clear your chakra, part of this grief work here. And then clearing your chakras and balancing yourself out. And we have here past life healing. And I just mentioned ancestral energies, past life energies. So spirit just confirming that for me here. Past life healing. The situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. Exactly. And it could be, you know, this grief work. And you can deal with it. You are stronger than you know. And this could change your whole outlook on life, your health, like I said, your health, mental, physical, emotional health in all ways. So um, I do offer past life readings, but I'm not an expert at, at um, healing past life uh, situations or anything like that, like past life regression. I don't really, but I can do past life readings if anyone's interested in that. So, but um, yeah, I do have past life healing, but past life here and having a wise soul from past life ancestral energies, lineage energies. Some of you though need to, before, if some of you are, you know, thinking about going into the spirit realm or being um, a chakra healer or something like that, I feel like you have to clear your chakras and balance yourself out first before you can go into this energy. All right, so Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio. Let's get three of these for you, Scorpio. And then we'll use the tarot. What is most needed for Scorpio, please? All right, that one wanted to stay. Two more for Scorpio. Two more for Scorpio, Spirit, please. What do they need to know at this time? The message is most needed. All right, these two. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here, Scorpio. So we have volcano volatility that reminds me of the tower card so you this could be an energy around you um somebody around you could have a bad temper maybe you have a bad temper or there's some sort of um either violent activity or somebody who has kind of like a bad energy or a bad temper or it could be your energy here or something could be exploding, something could be breaking down, or something could be happening here. So uh, an eruption or disruption here. So when we get to the tarot, we'll clarify that. So what else do we have? Desert vision quest. Wow, so this is like the same earth energy here and fire passion. So and we have the fire here and we see the fire here. So I feel like there may be some sort of, I'm, I'm not really getting like volatility, although some of you may have that energy around you in some way or within you, however that resonates for you. Maybe that is something you need to heal. But <clears throat> this could be like, like I said, the tower of, it could be an epiphany, aha moment that leads you to a vision quest, maybe leads you, leads you to go out into like a solitary energy kind of I'm getting like the hermit kind of energy um, going on your vision quest here that leads to your fire and passion in life and exactly how you want to move forward and really having that zest and passion for uh, your soul so how well that resonates for you so wow so let's clarify this energy let's clarify this energy but some of you may get downloads like from 
the spirit world or from your you know guides your ancestors or something like that uh your angels or just a download in general make it like an actual vision that will like break down like your whole way of knowing what life is now what you know in every single way and getting this vision that leads you on a new quest full of fire and passion and movement forward in some way some of you could have a lot of fire in your chart also all right so and i'm getting like this dry energy so you may need to really balance out your energies if you have a lot of fire and water in your chart you know that kind of makes uh steam so you know water can put out fire which would leave like this kind of barren uh, energy so you want to be careful of that okay so i was just going to say what is the stronger than you know yeah so some of you stress worry fear anxiety maybe not sleeping at night kind of energy <clears throat> so why are we in the stressed out energy high priestess here so needing to listen to you got your intuition maybe you're keeping secrets keeping things inside and i had said that if you're pushing things way down and you're not dealing and grieving and expressing yourself you know you're going to come up to a boiling point and this could be the boiling point here of just erupting and you don't want to be in that energy so you know that could be a separate message for some so you know some of you could be just be really stressed out but kind of trying to keep it down within but you know needing to listen to your intuition here um also and your higher knowing i don't think it's good here to hold it all in that's what i'm kind of feeling you know you may hold it all in then you go to bed at night and all you do is sit up all night thinking about everything you know instead of dealing with it at the present moment expressing yourself or letting you yourself feeling those emotions i feel like you just kind of uh keep yourself at, at an even keel and you don't really like express or uh feel either your emotions at the time all right so it's like you save it all up and then at night you're not sleeping because <laughs> of all that energy which is stronger than you know and you can stand up for yourself you can say it like it is tell it like it is you know allow yourself to be angry to i'm not saying to fight with people or show you know disrespectfulness or anything like that or be violent but you can express yourself cry you know whatever you need to do at the time you know do it all right so what is this healthcare change for scorpio three of swords so heartache and pain so i think you you keep like i said like the same energy over here whatever heartache and pain that you've gone through um, you see like it all your, your heart like all wrapped up and tangled here with all these swords and it's like you keep that all trapped within your heart and in your soul and you don't really um deal with what needs to be dealt with so you can take those swords out <clears throat> and cut that heart free i feel like you just kind of uh keep it all inside yeah the emperor here so it's time to take control of your life your situations your emotions your feelings and make a change here to uh not keep everything hidden inside that makes sense for some of you so does this grief work yeah not wanting to face it you know like blocking your heart being indecisive not wanting to see it feel it you know not <laughs> It's just blocking, blocking all that energy, just blocking it all inside, holding it all inside. Yep, it's time to deal with this grief work. As it comes and goes, deal and then heal and then move on. Not good to keep it all inside. All right, so what is this wise soul about for Scorpio? What is this wise soul for Scorpio? the moon again i feel like about listening to your intuition you know it can be about cycles not seeing the path clearly 
you know, your soul could pop, it says here, your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. Maybe you're not, you're not seeing that clearly, that you do have this energy within you. And here's like the ancient wisdom here, like right here. So you do have that, some of you have that energy within you, and I don't think you're really seeing it at this time. With the moon energy. Also about, it can be about deep feelings or listening to your intuition also. But let's see if we can get, uh, I had a card flip here. So is there any more information about that? <clears throat> I feel like your ancestors, passed over loved ones, are like look, always looking down on you, um, with you. They're by your side, they're with you, trying to uh, show you this wisdom within yourself. So that's what I'm feeling with that. All right, so let's see what this chakra clearing is about for Scorpio. Chakra, chakra clearing for Scorpio. Yeah, so here's uh, feeling happy, at peace, you know, kind of relaxed, feeling happy. You know, it's about fulfillment in every single way. Uh, usually wish fulfillment dreams, you know, dreams coming true, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like by balancing out and clearing your chakras, you'll be much more happier. The Nine of Cups energy. Some of you are overindulging. That could be part of healing too, healing that energy. All right, so what is this past life healing about? The situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. So what are we healing from the past life? For Scorpio, please, Spirit, what are we healing from the past life? Seven of Cups, so many options. Uh, feeling kind of confused. Um, choices. Kind of an indecisive energy, needing to choose something here. <clears throat> So why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here for the lover? So <laughs> you might have had many lovers in a past life here. Many, many lovers. And you were very indecisive here. Maybe you broke a lot of hearts also. But... Uh, I feel like I need one more. Or somebody broke your heart because they had a lot of, a lot of, a, a lot of other lovers. Maybe somebody broke your heart. So, however, yeah. So we have <clears throat> a lot of passionate energy here, fast action, travel, communication, and then laying down the burdens here. So I feel like some of you had a very fiery, passionate energy. Um, you or them, somebody had a lot of lovers, I feel. And finally, someone just laid down that burden, either walked away, you or them, from a past life. But I feel like this could be all this energy over here from that situation it's carrying over into this life. All right, so what is this volcano about? Eight of Swords, so mental entrapment, feeling stuck. So why are we stuck? So some of you may actually be stuck in your head, in your thoughts, in your dreams, you know, stuck in your own energy because you're not releasing when you need to. Then all of a sudden, boom, you're going to like implode, explode. <laughs> so you kind of want to not be in that energy because you want to avoid this explosion. What else? The magician. So manifesting a brand new beginning here. So I, I, I have felt that some of you may have like a breakdown or shake up or an, or an epiphany, aha moment, or even a meltdown or explosion that will cause you to manifest something new in your life here for some of you and lead you on this vision quest or even actually having a download. Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit. And I did I not say I have the Hermit energy with the volcano, with the desert? And here it comes out. <laughs> so I, exactly. I feel like some of you will go into hermit mode after some sort of eruption here. We'll go 
in hermit mode on a vision quest, or maybe you actually download a vision, will lead you on a quest here of deep soul searching. And now Eight of Pentacles working on something new on this new quest or this new life or whatever here. Working, working on something new because the man magician is manifesting that something new. So what is this fire and passion? So walking away here from things, energies no longer serving you, walking to your fiery, passionate uh, journey. You're going in search of that new cup here. It's there. <clears throat> All right, so what else here? I feel comfortable taking that. Is there anything else? Anything else for Scorpio with this fire and passion? Yeah, so healing, uh, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So you're going after your wish fulfillment, healing, divinely, this is divinely guided for you. Whatever download you get, whatever epiphany or, you know, start of something new going on this new journey is divinely guided for you. There has to be healing though. Stay hopeful, optimistic. It's divinely guided energy. Whatever you're walking away and walking to is your new found divinely guided, fiery, passionate energy. So let's see what's on the bottom. Three of Pentacles, again, with working, uh, learning something new, working together, teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. So I think you'll be working on something new here. It could be life changes. It could be a new uh, way of life. It could be anything here. However this resonates for you. All right. So let's get one of these for you, Scorpio. Let's get a prayer, affirmation. I do ask Scorpio if you like my style, how I read. Uh, feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. Uh, love, general, spirit messages, singles reading if you're single. And then I usually do a bonus reading where we take a little look at love, life, and then advice for you. So if you're interested in all that, don't miss out. If you do, thank you. So let's get Scorpio a message, a prayer for Scorpio, please. Thank you so much for Scorpio. What do we have here? Oh, that's way too many. That is way too many. So let's pick one. Which one for Scorpio? Right, pick that one. So we have here, be still and know that I am God. So this is telling you to just be still here and whatever divinely guided energy is coming to you is meant for you and that you are meant to be who you are meant to be, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.